So Tinubu is just about nine years or seven years older than you are. So that's not that. That could be your pair. We could talk okay, about that age grade, if you may. Good. Okay. Good. So. Uh -huh. Good. Good. So let's let's put this part side by side first. On one hand. We, I read almost all the deposition. Of course, there are some part that I've not completed. So why I'd ask if you went to school and I talked about your age is this. Every university have a unique insignia. That even if you're going to change it, the old insignia is still your insignia and the new insignia is still part of your insignia there are no there are no universities i know in the world that has several insignia like we have seen of chicago state university now bbc is a british broadcasting company by the way now this is an international organization weighing in into this one of the factors i pointed out that too many things to join because of our time is that bbc said that they reached out to two entities primarily tinubu's team they didn't ask the articles team what did you find they just picked a snippet from social media and put it together interestingly right honorable davis bbc did not refer to the third party vendor that a senior advocate of nigeria and nigeria's minister of aviation pointed out that it was a third party vendor that gave that so between versus kiamo Chicago State University and the yes. BBC, who is, let's, let's throw Atiku and his uh, findings away, who is telling the world the truth yeah. about President Tinubu? Well, um, for me, I would say that it's unfortunate that our president is in this, um, in this to be a quad mayor. Yeah. It's unfortunate. And that is where I think we'll go back to what um, B2B said. Yeah. You know, yeah, you have to go back to what B2B said. Because that will clear all these things. You know, um, I read the BBC reports, and um, unfortunately, it looks too much of a hatchet job for me. Because as a credible organization with BBC, I know this, or used to be, mm -hmm. is that when you are doing such investigation, it's important to talk to all the parties. Yeah. You know, you don't talk to one party of an interested the person and the report now look at the report the report might be credible but for the mere fact that you didn't talk to all the parties concerned you have already um brought credibility to question that's what bbc has done to itself yes they already brought, brought credibility to question and i'm not surprised when the article team responded to, okay they, yeah, they responded to them it's so sad like you said i don't know of universities changing their insignia every time. And currently, you, it interests you to know that alumni of Chicago State University have sued State, Chicago State University. Yes, for bringing them to uh, public ridicule and opprobrium, making them, the people begin to question, even in the US, people begin to question yeah. their own um, certificates, certifications, and things like that. So it's so sad that these things are happening. But do not forget. That Chicago State University has consistently said that the document our president has, they cannot um, take an oath on that. So, so they cannot. Sorry, 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 sorry. See, we, 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 you know, sometimes this is why this profession of ours becomes a bit of a burden. The average young person would want to say, I want to work in BBC, I want to work in CNN, and all of these big organizations. But when such a body, the, the position, we all read it. When such a body like BBC begins to make statements against an existing, a living university registrar who on that oath made the statement you just stated right now, and since Atiku and his team came and released the information, they had, the Chicago State University have not come out to say the thing, this is not what we said. Neither has a U.S. court or any of the attorney, um, um, what do they call the, the disciple, um, the, who are like state attorneys now in the U.S. There's something they call them, district attorney. No, yeah, none of them have come out to say this is an indictment on us. So why do you think we are where we are today? That's why I said it's so sad that the president is involved. And it's also so sad mm. that maybe BBC has intended to do a good job. But it's not looking like a hashtag job, you know, like image, image laundering, you know, which is sad. Because it's neither doing the president any good, nor the BBC itself. It's beginning to make the BBC look 
not credible anymore that people cannot refer to. I heard it on BBC and people believe. People will say, oh, it's on CNN. People believe you. It's on BBC. In fact, VOA. Growing up is BBC and VOA. When they say it, that's it. Yeah. No, everyone has said it. But now, you need to get involved. Now, this is not the only thing they have done of recent that is controversial. A few other things recently yeah, have, have shown that maybe because... Also, maybe because it's privatized, some are, there's some, there are level of, some level of privatization. Yes. So maybe now um, the pursuit of profit is now maybe determining what they are doing and maybe they are being patronized in the direction. I'm just saying maybe, maybe, maybe because it looks like this is what is happening. Otherwise, the BBC should have, shouldn't have been a haste to release this type of investigative report without hearing from all the, all the parts. So 